Welcome to episode 5 of How to Get Better at Call of Duty by the Basics. Basic Gameplay Call of Duty. So, today we are going to... Now, I am doing it from the camera. I am doing it from the camera. There's a reason why. It's because, you know, I might, want, I might need to show you something with my hand on the screen. So, it's just... It's, it's probably better this way. Cause it's a little bit more personal, and then maybe you can, if I point something out, versus me using the HTB, HD PVR, it's a little bit better for you to get a grasp of what I'm talking about. Now, um, what I last left off was the basics. You got your now you got your chair, you got your cable set up, you got uh, you know your Xbox, your PS3, your controllers, your cables, your chair the line of sight to your television, your controller, your headset, everything's set up, and we'll go more in detail with other setups as well. So let's go ahead and start out with your controller option layout. Now, the first thing you want to do is stick layout. Okay, so that's the very first thing. So stick layout. So you can go, you can go default, Southpaw, Legacy, or Legacy Southpaw. Now, default is just is just a regular way of you using the controller, as you can see on the screen there in front of you. You'll notice that when using the controller, as I have it here, using the controller as I have it here, let me move my laptop real quick so that way I can see what I'm talking about. Now, you'll notice you, you'll have the controller here. And a lot of people, they do not use the claw. Now, there's two there's two different styles of hand control for the controller. Some people use the claw, which is like this. That's what they call the claw. So that way your finger can move around to all the buttons. Or some people just use, you know, a lot of people just use the regular hand setup. Now, if you have the scuff controller, the paddle bars will give you the ability to play like a claw player. So if you're, you know, if you're trying to move, if you're just a regular player who plays this way on default, who uses the buttons as so, then when you hit this button to go back for B, which is uh, jump, you'll notice that's, you know, that's really quick movement and emulates a person who uses a claw setup. These paddles are not really sanctioned by the Xbox Xbox uh, controls, or I mean, not not sanctioned, but they don't come with Xbox controller. They're not built in. These are special paddles which let you play like a claw player. And I will get into that in advanced gaming play gameplay down the road, so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. I did make a video called uh, Claw Gaming or uh, the Claw Technique, and you could see it there. Or you can get the same advantage out of a scuff controller. So let's go back to the, to the, to the uh, default layout. So um, you can go to default, or you can go to southpaw, which is basically for people who move this side of the controls over to this side. So let's say you like to, you know, look up and down using your left stick. Maybe you are left-handed, and then um, legacy would be to uh, basically be a inverted um, inverted from default so instead of going left to right um, you're strafing right to left on the right hand stick you're strafing on the on the right hand side um I don't know who would use that I'm not particular that's very I don't know anybody who uses a legacy. I don't know, maybe somebody who is um, left-handed, and if you're really a lefty, a left le legacy southpaw, you know, it's it's basically for people who are left-handed. So, overall, the thing you want to start out with, if you're a right-handed player, is default, and then we'll go into uh, we will go into the paddle bars on the on um, specialized controllers and and uh, claw style gameplay. 
So the next thing we want to move on to is button layout. Now, um, there is there is different types of layouts here. You have default, tactical, which here's the thing. If you don't have, a lot of people don't understand this, if you don't have, uh, if you don't use the claw and you don't have paddles on the bottom of your, on the bottom of your controller, then what tactical does is gives you the ability to use instead of a lot of people have trouble like when you're shooting somebody you're gonna lose control from shooting somebody and using this button and going down prone and uh, uh, instead of hitting the B button so whereas a call claw a claw player or a paddle player can do both at once versus a, just a regular person who has a default controller they can only go down on the crouch button which is I'm sorry you can't see it but let me go down a little bit you see right here the, the crouch the crouch setup you can only go down so you're switching out the knife and uh, you're switching the crouch button with the knife button with the B button that's what tactical is so that's what's happening there you know a lot of people they switch that out they just don't knife anymore and and that's the reason why you got a lot of people who get mad about knifing is because they just use they just play with a controller regularly so they sacrifice the knife button because they just can't do both at once with one thumb versus a person who uses a claw that can do both at once or has a paddle on the bottom who could do both as both at once that's the difference between default and tactical Lefty, um, you're switching, you know, your your left side, obviously, you know, your your left trigger buttons. So you're gonna go to, you know, basically a lefty. And then a nomad, this was made for um, a person that was uh, his name was Nomad, he was a handicapped dude who I think just had like um I don't know what situations he had with his um hands, but um they put it in they put it in here in there for him specifically so that's who they made that for now going to uh you don't want to go like look inversion because what happens is if you, here's an example if you go enable look inversion now when you go up when you go up on your controller he looks down when you go down see a lot of people they think if you go down you're looking up but i don't like it that way when i you know when I look, when I go up, I want to look up. When I go down, I want to look down, not the opposite. But that's, you know, that's a, that's a mindset for some people. So I don't use that. So uh, I don't, I don't use that at all. I know, I don't, I disable look inversion. Now vibration, this is very important. Now, in scuff controllers, there's the weights for vibrators. And every time I ever got a, a Xbox controller, I always dis disassembled the controller. Now you're going to need a, a specialized torque wrench for that. To dis we'll get into that. If you want to know about that, let me know in the comments. Disabling the vibration. This is very important. Small tip that you should know. Uh, disabling vibration. What it does is, let's say you're shooting somebody. You know, let's give an example. If you're shooting something, look, your controller's not moving. And what that does is help you keep aim on people. And especially when you play a lot, you take the weights out of the weapon. I mean, you take the weights out of your controller, so therefore it's lighter. And, you know, you get less stress on your hands through the game. So, anyways, that's for episode point, uh, episode 5. We'll see you in a couple days from now. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace!